everyone this is stephanie welcome back to my channel it's been a little bit of time and i do apologize for that um there's been a lot of stuff going on i'll probably make a post on um, my community tab and you know just kind of go into a little bit but anyway i want to get into some readings again and my favorite of all time are the future spouse readings so i'm going to be doing another pick a card reading on the future spouse this one i think might be a little bit more of a lengthy one so i'm going to go into a lot more detail i'm kind of excited to get into this um that i always find very very fun so what I'm going to try to do is kind of go into the personality of this person. I'm going to go and try to see if I could find their appearance also from the cards, um, their romance style and lovemaking style. I'm going to go into that, try to see what the cards have to say about that and how you guys will meet. And kind of uh, alongside with that question, I'm going to try to see um, what is on your path right now to get to that person. So it's like a, you know, I love to hear about that kind of stuff. But anyway, I hope all of you are doing very well. And um, you guys are having a nice October. And as always, this is going to be timeless reading. All my readings are timeless. It doesn't matter if like I'm spe specifying like a week or something. It's always going to be timeless. So I'm going to pick three different cards. And I got this little thingy here where I can put like my cards here so you guys can see a little bit better. And I'm going to pick from my, my lover's oracle. I'm going to pick three different cards. And you guys decide on the image on which one is calling to you and see which one uh, which one is calling to you. And that's maybe your pile or maybe you have more than one pile. So let's get into this. Excited to find out. Spirit for pile one. Can you give me the card for pile one? On what represents this purse, uh, pile one's future spells, please? For pile one, please. Pile one, please. Okay, so we have this woman lying in front of the moon. So we'll put this over here. This is pile one. I hope that it sticks to. Okay, pile one. That's pile one. Spirit for pile two, please. Help me to see the card for pile two. Represents pile two's reading, please. For pile two. Okay. Okay, so we got this card. So just look at the images and I'll read the messages on the back of the card towards the end of the readings. So there's pile two. Pile three. Spirit, can you help me to see? A card for pile three. What represents their future spouse? Their reading, please. For pile three. Okay, so we got this one. See that? Whichever image is calling to you. Okay. Okay, my love. So this is this is the card. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. And then I'm gonna start with pile one right now, and I'll see you there by now. Pile one, this is your reading, and I'll put this card over here, and let's get into it. Okay, so let's see here. I want to see, Spirit, the personality of this person. Let's get into the personality of this person. Uh, let me look, let me look. I always pull a bunch of different cards out, and then, I, and then whatever one is calling to me, I grab that. So... Okay, Spirit, for Pile 1, they're a future spouse. Help me to get a, a feeling for this person's personality, please. What is this person like? Pile 1's future spouse, their personality. Help me to see this, please, Spirit. Ooh, okay. Okay, Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. What I'm getting right now is this really, like, friendly sunny disposition of this person this person's an optimistic um individual nothing like lets them get down nothing gets them down this person whatever um if there's a problem or something they they are the ones to solve it um they will be there like they'll be like a rock for you my pile ones they're going to be 
whatever that you're going through, they're going to want to solve it for you, this person, and they're going to make you feel better. Whatever issue, like you're going to feel like you're open to, like you feel very comfortable speaking with this person. This is what I'm getting. They're very open and they feel, uh, they people feel very comfortable about this person. They may have a very outgoing personality, very sunny disposition, very a warmth about them. This person may have a lot of friends, might like to go out a lot also. Um, they enjoy the outdoors, okay? Very, very happy, vibrant energy that this person has. Um, and yeah, very outdoorsy, um, very earth-grounded um, person also. Um, could have, this person has a lot of opportunities coming to them too, but I'm getting, we'll get into maybe that a little bit later, but this person... When they walk into a room, uh, they have a lot of energy about them. They walk in the room and everybody kind of turns their head around and looks at this person. Um, very attractive person too. Very attractive. Um, and uh, what I'm getting here, very chivalrous also. Very chivalrous person. Um, enjoys doing things for others. I'm getting so much from this card. But very, I like this energy a lot. I like this person a lot. I like I feel like I would want to be friends with this person. Okay. Um oh, look at this one, the door to romance, very romantic, very um this person's personality going into we're not even getting into um the romance style, but this person, like I said, very friendly disposition. This person has a lot of friends, um ha wears their heart on their sleeve. Um will would give off their their uh, the clothes from their back to give to somebody. Very very open heart this person. This person has but also what I'm getting from this card, um, this person loves love also. But for some reason, this person, I'm just getting this specific message. This person has not felt that click with, they have not found you, my pile ones. They haven't found you. So even though this person has been in uh, relationships and been involved with people, maybe had, you know, sexual relations with people or whatever, they haven't felt that true um falling over my head shoulder shoulders fold whole falling over my um like you know falling over love like in love 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 feeling like they see in the movies like we kind of hear from the movies or like romance novels and things of this nature but also just getting into their personality um just a, just a very loving person this person's heart is open and you my pile ones when you meet them again you can be very very comfortable and this is going to be a quick falling in love for both of you okay and i feel like with this if you guys can see this um this key this heart with this little keyhole here and it's um inside a bird cage here and it's like also behind a door that's opening up and it's car specifically saying door to romance i feel like this person is just waiting on that special someone even though they've been in relationships before i feel like they just feel like they have not felt that intense love um that they're going to feel with you and that you guys are going to feel with them it's like you're going to open that door for them and they just can't wait to share that with you. But just just going back into the personality, because I'm trying to get a sense of this person's um, demeanor. This person is just lovely. They sh they want to share their life with people. They have lots of friends. This person, again, very outgoing. Um, like the type of person that would see it like an older, an older, like an elderly person. This person would like go out of their way to help them. Um, going out of their way to help uh, animals that are in need. This person just has a huge heart. Um, huge, like heart chakra completely open. Um, even though this person, um... Uh, might have gone these um, person for pile one um, may have gone through stuff also as all of us do in our lives they haven't let that um, like uh, get to them and they're still like no I'm optimistic this person has like an optimistic nothing gets them down no matter what happens to this person they um, are always open to love and they're always optimistic for love and that people that are um that there is good in people even though maybe people have wrong them as all of us have un unfortunately have had to deal with, sometimes with you know people that are not truthful um some people 
you know, um, not for this pile, but I'm just saying like, you know, sometimes over time people can become resentful and um, bitter with like circumstances that happen. And like this person, no matter what happens, they have an open heart and they, um, they don't let anything get them down and they want to, what makes them happy. And then this is, I, I'm going to go into this later, but it's already coming to me. Their love language they want to make you happy and they that brings them joy my pile ones this brings them joy to make you happy and um and to be just romantic with you my pile ones but oh, but just through their personality their demeanor is just beautiful i love it <laughs> okay um not only remember i was saying like outdoorsy this person has a lot of stamina a lot of um uh um like i'm getting like a very fiery wand energy um this person could be like a Leo, like a fire sign. But with this, these two uh, horses running, a lot of energy. And we could go into this later also with the lovemaking thing. But this person's very, very, um, very aggressive in the in the bedroom too. They're definitely, I mean, I think all men or mas people of the masculine essence, uh, their love language is, is, um, is uh, intimacy or, feel oh my God, I always forget the different love languages um, exactly how. But um Physical touch is this person's uh, love language for sure. But very, like this person could be into sports also. And what I was saying about outdoorsy, this person loves being outdoors, being in nature, walking, uh, hiking. Um, this person could be involved in like football, soccer, like, but very, very um, uh, masculine, energetic. Like I'm telling you, this person, when they walk into a room, they just have tons of energy. Um, um, very protective also, very protective um, energy this person has. Um, just, just the, yeah, they, they like to do things. They like to try new things. Um, like if, if you are, some of you, my pile ones are a bit of an, on the introverted side, um, and are like, maybe afraid, afraid to try new things. This person is going to bring you out of your shell, but you're going to be feeling very comfortable with them. You're going to feel safe in their presence. They're always going to want to make you feel safe. And again, with this horse energy, this like aggressive, like masculine, um, masculine type of energy that I'm getting here. This person's always going to, with this door to romance, always want to make you feel very comfortable. And again, very protective with their tribe also, with their family. Very, I think this person can be very family oriented also, very protective of their family. But um, you will definitely be sa safe in their presence. This like, this person like takes charge for sure. Um, Like again, walks into a room and is like, oh, I'm not messing with this person. Like this is, very, I love this energy. I absolutely love this energy. Okay, their personality. I think we got like a gist of their personality. I think if um I get more from the cards, I'll I'll definitely um I will definitely talk about that. But they're already getting. I'm definitely already getting um some messages in the other departments. My pile ones. <laughs> okay, so let's go into uh let's see if we can get some cards about their appearance. Let's see if we can get some cards about their appearance. Spirit, can you help me to see what their appearance is like? Okay, we got woman holding a coin here. Okay, and what I'm getting with this appearance here, this person likes to dress well. This person likes to dress. Not, I'm not saying that they're like always dressed in suits or anything like this, but um, definitely proud of their appearance. Um, you're gonna when you see this person, you're like, I like their style. I like their style. They're very proud of their appearance. Very, very proud. And not in like an egotistical way. Uh, this person is just very pri very prideful, but in a very nice, confident, masculine, masculine way. My pile ones. Sorry about that pile one. For some reason today, I've been trying to do this reading all day and... Every time we try to sit down, there was something Amazon or something is coming through. And then for I think there was a fire somewhere in like the neighborhood, like some neighborhood and there's been fire trucks just going driving by all day and police. So I just couldn't sit down to do the reading because I didn't want to keep pausing every time a siren went by. But actually, let me put this. I was thinking about this idea here to start putting my little selenite, um, my little selenite while I'm doing my readings and so I could place the cards on there. Let me know guys how you guys like this. Um, so yeah. So this person, my pile ones, very, 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 um, elegant. This person is very, um, 
this this future spouse of yours is and I think this person also with this their appearance um they have a uh, like the ability to buy luxury clothing, nice clothing, just really, really can dress well. Um, this person um, has, here we go. I said the, uh, the sirens just driving by like crazy. It's just crazy today. But yes, my pile ones, this person has, has money. This person, um, their appearance very, um, this person might have, uh, I'm getting like bronze skin also for some of you. Um, this person lives in an area where there's a lot of sun, um, or they can come, their heritage, ethnicity can be somewhere from, uh, the, like, the, there's a lot of sun. For some reason, I'm getting, like, um, uh, Greece, Middle Eastern could be Latin, um, not, ne does not necessarily have to be specifically from that, but this person, their appearance is very warm, warm appearance, um. And again, that, and that does not necessarily have to be this. But again, with this victory card, this person is very proud of their appearance. Um, and again, not egotistically, but very, very like a handsome, very attractive person. I'm telling you, you're going to love their appearance. You're going to be very uh, sexually attracted to this person. Um, and just impressed by like, um, for some of you, if, you're, if this is a masculine energy that you're looking towards, very, very... Um, not only with um, the way their demeanor is and their, their personality, but just their appearance and their presence also. It, you're going to be fear, feeling very, very safe, safe in their presence. And also, if you're looking towards a feminine energy, you want a feminine energy, this feminine energy... Also very well dressed, beautifully like an elegant, an elegant regal presence about about her, and um, very proud of her appearance and like um, like luxury luxury luxury. I'm I'm getting like this person has money or they they like to dress well and they um they don't um they don't chimp out on their on their on their clothing and their appearance. That's very very important to them. Their appearance is very very important to them. And again, uh, uh, they stand out wherever they go. They like all eyes, all, all eyes on them when they walk into a room with their appearance. Some of this, some of them, they could have. Um, I'm getting like a light brown hair. Could be blonde also. That not necessarily has to be that, but, um, <clears throat> but definitely, um, definitely like for. I'm getting like this bronze, like like laying out in the sun, kind of thing. We got Archangel Gabriel here. Again, very masculine energy I'm getting also. But not, if you're looking toward the feminine, um, very regal energy. And this person definitely, we're going back to personality in a way, but this person likes to speak their mind. Very vocal, very present. And again, um, even though um, we're trying to get into the whole appearance thing, the spirit is kind of bringing forward also that this person like thrives on having community, a strong community around them. Um, and... This is maybe a, like appearance. Maybe when you see them, they're going to be with their family and you're going to immediately notice that they have like lots of friends around them. Or um, they, this is maybe like a clue that spirit is trying to, to trying to bring forward to you, my pile ones, that when you do see them, they're going to they're very proud of their family also. Um, so they definitely like to have um, company. This person's going to like to have company also in their in, you know, around them. This very, very. Uh, Good host this person would be for sure. Uh, let's see here. Let me get actually the other cards here to grab to see that. Appearance uh, spirit. For appearance, my spirit. Uh, for pile one, their future spouse, please. Their future spouse. What is the appearance of their future spouse spirit? For pile one. For pile one. Definitely, like, I just keep getting this, this regal energy from them. And again, with this number four here. And number four also with the stability, they have, like, a, their nest egg built already. My pile of wands. It's like something, like, it's like you're not going to want for anything. Um, this person's going to be able to provide and they want to provide and they want to share their life with with um, with all of you, my pile of wands. They, they want to share their life. They want to give. They're very nurturing and giving. But with this number four, it's a very stable number. All about family structure. This person is very, very, 
good with their money. Again, so again, with this Queen of Cups here, and they kind of have like an artistic side to them. Again, so again, like they really put a lot of <laughs> energy into the way they dress and their appearance. Um, even their home, everything is nice. Everything is nice. So you're going to immediately notice them, like even their car. Everything is neat. Everything, um, even if they don't have like the latest style of car, um, they keep their car, their home. Everything is very tidy, organized. They take great pride in their appearance, in their belongings. They're grateful for everything in their lives. My pile ones. This person is... Yeah, very with this Queen of Cups, very elegant. And again, they're very uh, um, their heart is very open, also very warm energy about them. I'm very, I very much like this this energy from them. Spirit for pile. Pile one, please. Pile one. Their appearance, their appearance, please. Very, okay, and very studious also, this person. Um, even though they're very, like, outgoing and everything, they're also very, um, again, with this number four here, with this, I'm getting a lot of, like, with this luxurious um, energy that this person likes to dress well, present themselves in a certain fashion, um, takes great pride in their, in their, what they've accomplished, their home, their family and everything. This person has worked hard for this also, even though maybe some, like for some reason, I feel like they're maybe the, some money that they have uh, been able to acquire was passed down. I'm getting this sense with a, this um, like regalness about their family and their pride in their family um, and that they were, they are of good means because of their family situation but also this person is not lazy either so you're going to immediately notice about their presence also i know this appearance this says appearance but very work a very hard worker this person is always wanting to learn it's going into personality also but i'm getting again brown hair if this is like a masculine energy um getting like um they're showing me broad shoulders very broad shoulders um yeah for some reason and i'm getting this energy here too um, the, the hair might be a little bit longer also for some, for the masculine energy. Like an athletic kind of build. I actually have this little, this little box here that could go into later as well and kind of pull some stuff from there. Interesting little tidbits that we might have to add some more detail Spirit, can you tell me more about their personality, please, for my pile ones? Again, they're just going into this Ten of Cups here. Look at this. Ten of Cups. Very, very much of a, like, loving the home again. Very, very intense loving the home. With the Seven of Cups. This person's a dreamer, too. They're dreaming. Look at this. Um appearance here with this ten of cups i'm definitely getting like like blonde like maybe some blonde like light brown hair earthy earthiness i'm getting from that card also even though it's a cups I'm telling you, like, this person has, like, lots of love that they give out. Dreamer. This person, like, a dreamer also. Um, they, like, dreaming about um, having this family also. My pile ones. I might get some more appearance from this. Sorry, I, this is my Christmas box, but you can still use it anyway. <laughs> okay, so what I want to get into now is... Let's see if I can... Sorry about that. Let's see if I can do something here. Let me see. I'm going to try to like kind of hold these cards up like this. I don't think that's going to work. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so... What I'm going to do is get into 
love making. I already feel like I get, I already know what's going on with that. Okay, so let me grab this. My, I love this Louise Royo deck. This is a tarot deck here. Very, very, very sexy deck though. Um, to get more into that vibe. This person is very aggressive though. I'm going to tell you that right now and not in a bad way. Um, very, um, again, physical touch is this person's love language for sure. This person, uh, they are going to know they're very, very, um, um, they have, uh, an appetite like for sure. And they, that's how they feel connection with you, my pile ones, by, by having, uh, making love and, um, by showing like affection, like they're going to love to do massage and, um, just constantly touching you. I just feel like they're always want to touch you, like holding your hand. If you guys are in public, um, putting the, their hand on the small of your back, being like leading, like going into a restaurant, just leading you into the restaurant, like really um, and not to say like this in a like a bad way, but definitely into like the um, the gender roles in that way, um, where they they want to like um, lead you like you know in you know into the restaurant, like open the door for you, just very, very much, very much, um, showing showing they like to show uh, the masculine side, and if this is a feminine energy, definitely um, they have an appetite as well. Okay, they love to show affection also nurturing okay but the i'm telling the the love life in this relationship is not going to be boring my pile ones spirit for pile one please can you help me to see the love style of this future spouse their love making style their romantic style please look at this what was i saying uh caring connections this is the bottom of the deck here okay and we got the sun here also so um, uh, with that Leo energy, very, very aggressive. Um, they take pride in like, uh, making sure that you are, uh, that you are well taken care of and that you are satisfied in the bedroom and the six chakra, they're very in tune to what your needs are. Also, they are very in tune with whatever your needs are in the bedroom, what your emotions are like, and depending on your emotions, I get like very in tune, the very intuitive this person is also with their partner with you guys, with your, with their future spouse. Um, just by, just by, um, having that emotional connection with you also, and just speaking with you, just spending time with you, very, very in tune with your thoughts, your body, your emotions, and depending on however your mood is, they're going to change their lovemaking style with that. They're going to be very, very, let's say very lustful one night and um, very sensuous one night and maybe more intimate and loving and caressing another night, depending on your mood, you know, and some nights are going to be like, you know, ripping your clothes off, you know what I mean? But this person is very, very in tune um, and very, very um, into physical touch and, and connection in that way. That's way. That's the way they not only do they want to support you and be a good a good a spouse to you good be a good partner to you have that amazing connection with you but that's how they really really feel that connection by being intimate with their future spouse okay that's how they feel that connection and that that union and um definitely um definitely this person um it's funny because this next thought that was coming into my mind and then the, this is the next card here this person, um, so I know that, that this happens in relationships. I'm not talking about this one specifically, but, um, for, for you guys, you guys and your future spouse, but, um, I know that there are relationships out there that, um, sometimes men or women, this can go either way, I guess. Um, when they're angry with their spouse or their partner, they withhold sex, right? And this person, it is the worst thing that can happen because, um, it, it's like a sense of like punishment and they're like to them that's like a it's very cruel to like um to like withhold like not even just the intimacy but just the the connection or like just being a, showing a silent treatment or um not communicating with them to them it's very it's very traumatic and um kind of tragic like they feel like they're um in a way, it's a sense of betrayal. And I feel like this person has walked away from other relationships that way. It's an immediate turnoff. So just saying that right now, um, this person's 
it deeply connected with you and it would be like uh, definitely open um open your heart up and if you need to speak to some uh, about something definitely have that open communication and not hold it back and and be passive aggressive with this person i'm just saying right right now with this 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 uh this connection here this person it's deeply offended or be feels betrayed um is easily have their heart broken by some their their partner treating them in this fashion so definitely have an open communication and if there's something that's bothering you um definitely speak out look at this card that just came out angel of strength angel of strength with this sun card leo this person is very passionate in the bedroom very passionate my pile ones this person um i'm telling you they <laughs> they can be thinking about you all day at work and at night it's like oh my god I'm like ripping your clothes off like i'm not even kidding you right now let's see here let's go into the other deck that i actually pulled out for this specific reason but i just wanted to get like the energy about this the vibe that they have for my pile ones okay spirit for pile one please the romance and love making style of this person please and oh you know what the i uh, the, the thought that just popped into my head remember when i was saying earlier about um how some of you might be more introverted or uh, not wanting to try new things this person i feel like they're going to want to try new things in the bedroom my pile ones you're going to open your eyes. It's like you're like opening uh, to new experiences here. But they're going to make you feel safe also. You're not going to be, you're going to be actually, it's like a sense of adventure in the bedroom with this person. <laughs> okay, Spirit, can you tell me more for Pile 1 and their uh, their future spouse's romance and love making style, please? <laughs> Look at what you got the devil here. <laughs> That's so funny. Very, uh... It's like love, it like make uh, making love and being intimate with this person is going to be addicting. They're going to be addicted to your body. They're going to be addicted to you. It's like you guys are going to be going to be able to keep your hands off of each other with this devil card here. Okay, spirit for pile one. Their future spouse's love making style. Their love making style. The magician. Ooh. Oh my God, this person, I'm telling you that this, this person has all the tools, all the tools necessary to keep you satisfied. My pile ones, very satisfied. This person has all, oh my God, tricks up his sleeve. They have tricks up their sleeve. The hair of Fentiment. Okay, this person is very wise. Like I was telling you, look at this dragon fire here. Isn't it interesting? Look at how she's looking at this dragon with his devotion and just like, um, like she's in, like she's in awe of, of this dragon, right? And the hair fin is usually like, you know, you're learning, you're, you're going to a teacher of like a wisdom, but what, when I'm, when in, in context to what that I'm trying to ask spirit about this person's lovemaking style, it's like they're opening up new, um, new, new senses of adventure for you in the bedroom where maybe some of you, um, this is what I'm, it's for, this may be specific for some of you, maybe you were very, um, closed off or maybe not even uh, some of you may not even have been able to have orgasm for some of you my pile ones this person's going to open up a new door and it's like at first maybe in some of your relationships you didn't even enjoy sex that much because a person was not um they weren't meeting your needs or they didn't even care about your your needs or your satisfaction or your you reaching orgasm or maybe it's so hard or maybe it was hard for you or you were felt shy or something and you didn't want to really open up your needs to your partner this person you're not going to feel that with them look at what it, he has the you got the devil the magician here this person has all the tools necessary and when the hair fit it's like you're going to be learning about your own body also with just making love with this person it's like you're learning your, yourself and you're like, even all, even all of you, you're like, oh my God, like I didn't know it, was, it could be this good. I didn't know that my body could feel this way. And just you opening up to your own divine feminine or divine masculine, whichever it is here, you opening up and having like this, like looking at your, your own body with love also again. It's like this, this like even the lovemaking can be very, very spiritually healing for a lot of you, my pile ones. I love these messages that I'm getting here. Okay, so... We kind of went into personality. We went to appearance. Um, their love making style. Absolutely love, 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 love this. Um, 
They have a beautiful energy. I love it. And I want to see how you guys are going to meet. Let's see. Let's go into that. Let's see how you guys are going to meet. I'm really, really interested in this. I hope you guys are enjoying this reading because I really am. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, spirit. For my pile ones, how are they going to meet your future spouse? How are they going to meet? How are they going to meet their future spouse spirit for my pile ones? How are they going to meet? What is going to happen with that? For my pile ones, my pile ones. How are they going to meet their future spouse, please? Or help me to see the path, this path, please. For my pile ones. Look, uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. Look at this. We got the dragon again. And the dragon guards its treasure, kind of like uh, the hobbit. If you guys ever watch that, I'm kind of like a nerd when it comes to that stuff. Um, it's um, taking care and guarding its treasure. So what, do you mean, what are you telling me with this spirit? I feel like with this guarding the treasure, uncovering treasure, you get, it's like you're gonna, this is going to happen when you least expect it, my pile ones. This person also, what I'm getting with this, remember when I keep saying that they're like, um, remember that first, oh, this card right here. Um, they don't have the key to their heart yet. They've, even though they've experienced, um, different relationships and love or whatever. It's like they're holding on. And remember that I said also they built their, their nest egg. They're, they're building, they want to share their life with the right person. It's like they're, they have this treasure that they're guarding. And for some reason, Spirit is bringing this forward. It's not time yet. Not yet. Not right now. But they're, they're guarding this treasure for you, my pile of ones. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Um, okay. And, and it's embracing enthusiasm. So what I'm getting with this, my pile of ones, is that Spirit wants you obviously you know um some people go on dating apps or like you know go try to go on a lot of dates to try to find this person for some reason with this uncovering treasure and embracing enthusiasm spirit wants you like what they're saying is like kind of pull back a little bit it's going to happen when you least expect it pile one and they're, what they want to say is enjoy, embrace your own enthusiasm, be enthusiastic with your life right now and just enjoy the, the, the journey right now. And when you least expect it, this dragon is going to come. This dragon, this person's like a dragon, like fiery, protective energy. And my pile ones, look at this. Oh my God, this is what I'm getting here with this. I love this stuff so much. You see this woman looking at these, um, the, at these butterflies, how she's like, just like enjoying her life. She's like, it's like, she's innocent. She's just enjoying her life. She's going like, you know, go maybe going to work, just going out with her, like maybe hanging out with her friends, just going out, like doing her thing. Right. She's like, like enjoying nature. She's like just running through the fields, just like enjoying nature, just having fun. Right. And this dragon sees her. And he's very protective. She's like his treasure here. Oh, sorry. She's like his treasure. When this dragon, when this person comes around you, they're going to like wrap you around in their wings, like literally. And they're, you're like their treasure. You're like this. And they're, <laughs> and not to say this in a bad way, but like they're butterfly. They want, they don't want you to fly away. They want to protect you. You're very delicate to them. My pile ones. And what I'm getting with this is they're like, enjoy your life. Do your thing. When you least expect it, this person's going to come. And they're going to swoop down from the clouds and you're not going to even realize it's going to like hit you. And they're literally like, I like, I know this sounds like cliche or whatever. When people say this, like in the movies, it's like sweep you off your feet. But literally it's like, that's what's going to happen. Um, spirit for pile one, please. For pile one. Can you tell me more about how this is going to happen? How will they meet this person? So it's kind of like 
not very clear like they're kind of like just do your thing and it's going to happen it's not ready yet he's guarding he's like guarding his nest egg for you he wants to see it's like both of you are like waiting on each other okay spirit tell me more for pile one how they were going to meet Look at this. I like there came look joy and delight. Look at this. Open your heart to joy. Just do your thing. Enjoy your life. Be in your be in your divine feminine or divine masculine energy, whatever it is. You just enjoy yourself. Work on yourself. Be in love with yourself. And this light that's going to emanate from you is going to attract this dragon. And look at this desert passage trust that there's a divine path for some of you that are like worried about this it's going to happen for you just keep on your keep on your path and follow trust that there is a divine path okay let's try to go into um let me actually see another deck here to see if there's other messages about how you guys are going to meet Oh, you know what? Let me pull from this one. Let's see this. And then I could grab. Okay, Spirit, can you tell me more about maybe how they are going to meet? How my uh, pile ones are going to meet their future spouse, please? Oh, my God. How are they going to meet, Spirit, for my pile ones? How is pile one going to meet their future spouse if you can give me a little bit more detail how are they going to meet their future spouse pile one pile one okay we got the bird here okay immediately somebody is going to somebody that knows you i have a feeling that this is going to maybe be like somebody mutual that you know of, so like let's say you are friends with uh like one of your coworkers right and she knows of let's say her boyfriend's like friend just moved into the area and they're like oh um this i oh my god like i you know there's a i know this single girl whatever something is going to happen where there's going to be other people involved and they're going to be speaking and communicating to each other and this is how you guys are going to meet some, but there's going to be other parties involved that are going to be um just going to be some kind of communication, a verbal communication. This is going to be verbal with the birds. It's um verbal. There's going to be people speaking to each other, and they're going to be maybe an, uh mentioning you or him to this person, for example, and that's how this is going to start. Okay. Yes, so this is going to lead to a new beginning here. This is going to be me, uh, um, I'm sorry, leading to this new beginning of your relationship and you meeting for each other. So you guys don't, you don't know each other. This card is um, mentioning a new beginning. So you don't know, you don't know this person. This is going to be a brand new person. This is not somebody from your past that's coming in. Okay, let's grab some tarot and see a little bit more. So I just wanted to see more detailed context of how this might happen. Okay, so Spirit, can you tell me more about this? A little bit more detail if you can, please, about their this meeting. About this meeting, please. Okay, we've got the two of pentacles here again. So it's, this is not going to happen with you looking for this person like on a dating app or look like literally searching for this person and vice versa this person's not going to be doing this um uh, like knowing of you or meeting you through some kind of dating app or specifically looking to date somebody this is going to happen with this two of pentacles while you guys are just going around about about your business basically and it's going to commence or start by other people kind of be like oh this person i know this person i know this you know what i mean so this is going to be like again spirit keeps talking about just go about your business focus on yourself love yourself and this light you're going to attract this person into your life but it's, it's going to happen with other people like speaking about it okay spirit anything else anything else okay we got seven of wands here Okay, seven of wands here. It's like 
again, like you're like you're not gonna be even expecting it. There's gonna be like other people involved here. For okay, I'm getting this weird. Oh my god, I'm getting this weird um message here. I feel like I don't know if um somebody that you know might uh, bring this up to you verbally and be like, oh, do you want to go out to like a double date type of dinner or do the, oh, there's this party um, or I'm having this, I'm having this like dinner party at my house or something like this. And I'm inviting blah, blah, blah. I'm inviting, the, oh, you should meet this person. And you're going to maybe be like, I don't know if I want to. I feel like a little bit intimidated. That, that, this is what energy I'm getting, but there's definitely other people involved in my pile of ones. Okay, anything else? Or I think that's that's probably it. They don't want to. They just basically, I feel like I'm getting the message that they're like, go about your business, do your thing, and it will happen. Yeah, we got the Queen of Cups here. Be in your like divine feminine energy. Focusing on yourself, being in love with yourself, just, you know, just doing your thing. And this, this, um, and even like not even divine from divine masculine also, whatever, when you're sitting in your own power, you're going to attract this power to you. Okay. My pile, my pile ones. And let's grab some, I'm going to go into this here and see what messages come through with this and see anything other, other specifics. I hope you guys enjoy this reading. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. Okay, let's see here. Oh my God, this is very intense. So some of these messages are a little bit on the intense side. Oh my God. So this, this is definitely aggressive energy. Okay, I'll wrap your hair in my hands as I take your mouth. Very, very intense energy right there. Um, this person has straight hair. Very intense energy there. Okay. Okay. So this person has an athletic runner's body, soccer player, athletic. Remember I was saying before that this person has like, um, that can be very sporty. Okay. For some, this, for some people, so some of these people, because all of you guys are going to have different people coming in, straight hair, and some people can have curly hair. Okay, so we got Scorpio energy, and that makes sense with that intense love making right there. This person can have a Scorpio ascendant even, Scorpio, um... Scorpio rising, okay, and we got accountants here. Remember I was saying that this person, like, very good with money and very studious also. Anything else, Spirit? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, I don't think I can read that one out loud. Okay. Oh, my God. So this one is, I will be your shelter during any storm. Okay. I love that one there. Okay, you guys. This is your reading. Um... I am so excited for you guys to meet this person. This sounds like an amazing relationship. And honestly, sounds like a dream to me. It's so beautiful. Okay, and I can't wait for you guys. I hope you meet this person soon. But just do your thing and it will come to pass. Okay, my pile ones, I will see you soon. I will be posting more regularly. And um, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Okay, pile one, I forgot to read your card that I pulled out originally. So this is your card that you pulled, that you picked for your pile. And the message is surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. And that kind of makes sense with all the messages that were coming through, where spirit was coming through and saying, just, just go along, do your natural routines. Go, go about your, your day and everything is going to fall into place according to divine timing. So that's your message for you, the uh, for pile one. And 